If you look around, pollen is everywhere in Mississippi. And if you have allergies, well, that's not a welcome sight. It can do a number on your sinuses. WJTV 12's Linnea Lewis is live with tips from a doctor about treating symptoms. Linnea? Well, Melanie, doctors say sometimes our symptoms are deeper than just a running nose, and misusing items such as neti pots could cause long-lasting problems. Dr. Stringer with UMMC provides some tips of relief and warning. Thick, yellow coats of pollen can now be seen on our vehicles as spring pollen season is near, causing all of us irritation. Runny nose, they have sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, itchy nose. It's usually a clear drainage when it's just allergies, and they sometimes have a little bit of a sore throat, too. When folks begin to suffer from these symptoms, many of us usually run to over-the-counter medications or even items like saline spray or neti pots. However, when using items like neti pots, you have to watch out for bacteria. With certain types of amoeba, which are small microorganisms in the tap water, you could even get a severe brain infection that could lead to, to death. Stringer says when using neti pots, it's important to use distilled water or lightly boiled tap water. He also demonstrated the correct way to use the saline bottle. Take the bottle to one nostril and squeeze half the bottle on one side, let it run out, and then do the opposite in the other side. And the neti pot. You basically have a spout on the end instead of this squeeze bottle end. Lean your head over to one side, fill up the one side, let that run out and then switch over and do it on the other side as well. If none of these methods work, Dr. Stringer says it's best to find a specialist to do a skin test or blood work to find out exactly what treatment would work for you. And for more information on how to battle these allergy symptoms, make sure to visit our website. That's WJTV.com. Live in Jackson, Linnea Lewis, WJTV 12.